Think of untouched remote coastline and sandy beaches, rugged ranges and bush-clad valleys. Cast your eye over sparkling rivers with some of the best brown trout fishing in the country. Add in a rich pioneering and Māori heritage, fertile pastures, a vibrant economy in the real heartland of the nation and discover our promise to you. Tararua Country, a natural and genuine New Zealand experience that delivers more than you ever thought possible. The physical presence of Tararua Country dominates. Bound by the Pacific Ocean to the east and the rugged Tararua and Ruahine ranges to the west, the region is a sporting paradise, from hunting and hiking to trout fishing and surf casting. Covering 424,000 hectares, Tararua country is threaded by State Highway 2 and the iconic rural road Route 52. It touches borders with the country's premier wine regions, Hawke's Bay and Wairarapa, and trades via the regional shipping port of Napier. A 20-minute drive to the northwest lands you in Palmerston North, an education centre of some renown, with Massey University as the jewel in the crown. Travel south for just two hours and you're in New Zealand's capital city, Wellington. A modern and comprehensive roading network, a main rail trunk line and ultra-fast broadband keeps its almost 17,000 residents well and truly connected and makes Tararua country the perfect location to live and work. With its natural beauty, uncrowded lifestyle and vibrant caring communities, is it any wonder that when people come here, they don't want to leave? Exploring Tararua country means discovering unique and active communities, each important in their own right and each with their own story to tell. Settlements were founded by the efforts of the early Scandinavian settlers and on the rich history of the Rangitane and Ngāti Kahununu iwi. These same settlements are now sustained by modern day pioneers, leading the way in the global market with sheep, beef and forestry. Ekatahuna is the southern gateway to Tararua country and the Tararua Forest Park. Every town has a few surprises up its sleeve and in Ekatahuna you'll find Kiwiana at its best. Just south of Ekatahuna at Kaipororo is the Anzac War Memorial Bridge. The bridge was designed and its construction supervised by the distinguished civil engineer Alfred Faulkner. Take a turn off the main highway to the east onto the renowned Route 52 and you'll find Pongaroa, the birthplace of physicist, molecular biologist and Nobel laureate Morris Wilkins. A statue of the double helix DNA model can be found here, along with the songs of Tui and Bellbird. Stay on the teasing, twisting Route 52 and you'll be rewarded with the raw beauty of the wild and raging Akatia Beach. This is iconic coastal New Zealand at its best. Bring the rod, the fish are always biting. There's plenty of power, crayfish and whitebait in season. With awesome sand dunes, rocky shore, swimming, diving on the reef and surfing, there's something for everyone. The rustic journey continues north to Wimbledon, including the pub and tennis courts. And just before Cape Turnigan opens the door to the Hawke's Bay, you will find the last of Tararua's coastal environments, the small settlement of Herbertville. Take time to enjoy the sweeping stretch of sandy, remote beach and the camping amenities. Back on State Highway 2, north of Ekatahuna, you'll be greeted by the beautiful tree-lined gardens of Pahiatua. On the outskirts of the town is a memorial marking the site of the Polish children's camp, home to 734 refugee children who were brought here in 1944. To the north of Pahiatua is Mangatanoka, synonymous with all things Tui. Tui beer, that is. Take a break in your journey to tour this historic Tui brewery, established in 1889, or picnic at one of the scenic reserves along the banks of the Mangatanoka River. Stretch your legs in Woodville, the gateway to the Manawatu Tiapati Gorge, at the junction of State Highways 2 and 3, and a mere 20-minute drive from Palmerston North City. Browse the eclectic mix of antique, curious craft and boutique clothes shops and visit the replica studio of renowned Czech artist and portrait painter Gottfried Lindor, who lived in Woodville from 1890. Tararua country's largest commercial town is Danivirk. Settled by 13 Danish and 8 Norwegian families in 1872, they cleared the original Totara forest area. It's fitting that Danivirk translates as Dane's work. 
wander down the main street and take your pick from a variety of shops, cafes and museums. You'll find public amenities like the Aquatic Centre and Golf Course. Ormondville, 22 kilometres northeast of Dannyburg, is well worth a visit for its lovingly restored railway station. Just one of a handful of early wooden railway buildings preserved in New Zealand. It is unique in that it has been converted into boutique accommodation. You can stay here in your very own railway station. At the northern end of the district and gateway to the Hawke's Bay sits Norswood. And here you may be forgiven for thinking you're in Scandinavia at times. Stroll around town and you could be in for a big surprise. Come face to face with a troll. Norswood has lovingly preserved its Norwegian pioneer past in its street names, attractions and museums. You'll find Johanna's World here, a memorial garden honouring early settlers with replica log cabin, church and yes, more trolls. And no stop in Norswood is complete without a visit to New Zealand natural clothing. Stockists of the Norswear brand and the largest selection of New Zealand made socks in the country. Tararua country with its two national forest parks and impressive river network is a sporting paradise for all ages, abilities and fitness levels. Keen hikers and walkers are spoilt for choice with the array of walks through native bush in the Tararua and Ruahine national parks, across farmland and along rugged coastline. Every town has walking trails from casual short day walks and scenic reserves to longer multi-day tramps. Grab your boots and explore the region's historic past along the Coppermine Valley Creek Walk within the vicinity of the abandoned Coppermine, waterfalls and native orchids. You can walk the historical Tararua Walk, taking in the old backcountry huts or tramp the popular Manawatu Te Apiti Gorge Walk that boasts 44,000 visitors a year. The Gorge Walk links Tararua with Manawatu and takes about three hours to complete. The spectacular views from the top make the effort well worthwhile and after all that walking, you can relax at the Bridge Cafe at Balance. If you're limited for time, check out the short loop track and meander through the native bush to view the 100-year-old Totara. Waihi Falls, 45 kilometres east of Dannyverk, are spectacular, especially after the rain. Take a picnic or your togs. If two wheels are more your thing, then Tararua is a mountain biker's paradise with trails for all abilities. The Upper Wahipai Reserve near Dannyverk provides a mix of medium to high difficulty trails, while Warati Peak at Woodville offers a long slog up, followed by an exhilarating 700 metre vertical descent. There's also motocross and four wheel drive tracks providing challenges for adrenaline junkies who prefer their two wheels motor powered. Tararua country is a hunter's dream, with two mountain ranges boasting some of the best stag trophy hunting areas in the country. Known as the river region, Tararua attracts anglers from far and wide to fish the five M's. The Mangahau, the Makuru, the Mangatanoka, the Makakahi and the Manawatu rivers, plus the Tiromia River. The best brown trout fishing in the country happens here. The rivers are also great for swimming, rafting and kayaking, and for a really exhilarating ride, take a jet boat ride through the Manawatu Te Apiti Gorge and really get the wind through your hair. Far from being just an adventure playground, Tararua country also takes pride in the conservation of its flora and fauna. A visit to the world famous National Wildlife Centre Pukaha Mount Bruce houses some of New Zealand's rarest birds, while a good walking track to the Mount Bruce lookout offers breathtaking views across the ranges and valleys. With the wealth of tempting attractions on show, it's going to take more than just a couple of days to see all that the region has to offer. But no worries, there are plenty of options when it comes to accommodation. From boutique style to marae, backpackers and numerous options for self-contained motorhomes, you're spoiled for choice. The region is famed for some of the best dairy land in the country, and the sheep love it here too. Tararua country has an enviable reputation when it comes to producing top quality wool, meat and dairy products from its more than 1,200 farms. Innovation in the agricultural field has seen the development of new crops to complement the more traditional land use. Crops such as feijoas, hazelnuts and flax are opening up new possibilities for both lifestyle block owners and larger landholders. The largest economic driver in the region Agriculture employs up to 30% of the people and nearly half of all businesses are geared around the land. 
industry is already strong throughout Tararua. There are a number of iconic business brands such as Canterbury Spinners, Kiwi Sock Company, Tui Brewery, Jackson Enterprises and New Zealand outdoor clothing specialists, Bettercraft. These are complemented by the innovative endeavours being undertaken in the new Orangi Business Park and by a range of internationally recognised companies who are busy expanding their workforce and plant to meet consumer demand for their products. Among these are RCR Energy Service, Agricultural Machinery Manufacturer Metalform, the Alliance Meat Processing Plant and Fonterra with their $250 million plant extension at Paihia Tour. Commercial forestry has been a mainstay of Tararua country since the Scandinavian pioneers first set foot in the region back in the 1870s. Forestry is still a burgeoning industry, with companies like Kiwi Lumber supplying milled timber for the domestic and overseas markets. Tararua country is a go-ahead region for anyone with entrepreneurial flair. With low startup costs, central location on all major transport links, access to top-class infrastructure and ultra-fast broadband connection in commercial areas, it warrants serious consideration by those looking to establish new business ventures. The Tararua District Council is helping drive economic growth and diversification, supporting businesses with projects like the impounded water supply at Dannyverk and promoting new business initiatives to make Tararua country the capital of the world across a variety of products. The wind resource near the Manawatu Tiapati Gorge is exceptional even by international standards. With the existing Tiapati wind farm and the new ones approved at Castle Hill, New Zealand's largest, and smaller ones on the Pukatoi Range and the Waitahora Range, Tararua country could soon boast over 420 wind turbines, generating electricity to power in excess of 415,000 households. While wind is already established as a major resource, oil and gas look set to have a role to play in the future prosperity of Tararua country too. It could be that in time, Tararua country will become simply the power capital of New Zealand. Life does not have to be an empty promise. Tararua country is an excellent place to raise a family in a friendly and safe community. The low cost of living here is attracting more and more people who want to balance work with a rewarding and relaxing way of life. It has established schools with high academic, sporting and cultural reputations, excellent amenities and a growing economy, all within easy distance of the larger centres. A great way of life starts where you live, and it starts with Tararua country, where the good life promises a slice of New Zealand at its very best. <laughs> <laughs>